wires and I can't even feel it because the voltage is not high enough. Wow, this is wild. You can see how far... This gap is quite wide. Let me measure it for you. Some toothpaste and you're ready to go. It's a very simple and yet effective circuit. Let's turn it on. The skin here is quite sensitive to temperature and you can tell the temperature quite accurately. This is not the best way and you might like to try a safer way. Oh, and don't drop the iron on your pants. It's almost finished now. Just need another piece of wire. What did I do? What the f did you do? I'm fine, thanks. Yes. What? The tip of the gun here simulates a human finger. Always be careful with your tools. That side needs to be connected to ground or negative. Uh, yeah. It doesn't give me an electrical shock when I do it with my finger. Ow! Yeah. Ow. But it burns my skin into a charcoal. I made this simple circuit and I'll plug it in. Now the circuit is hot and the voltage is on the side. To measure the 120 volt AC, I put the meter on AC and I measure the voltage. Oh my god! I thought I could share my artistic side with you. The tool part can break off the glass part and get stuck in the fixture. Just make sure you don't cut your fingers and take the screw part out. I turn these nuts here. Always be careful not to short your car battery. Now I connected these cables to the battery and all I want to do is to pass them under. If I can just pass these cables under the table here. Get on with my power supply here. Well, it's always safer not to work with live, loose wire, so instead I'm using these alligator clips here. I put the bullet in and turn the power supply on, so you can see what's going on. There you go, you saw what happened. Oops. See how the waveform changes. Capacitor. At least real capacitors can't get electrocuted. Why doesn't it hurt? What kind of sorcery is this? Did it decide not to hurt? Ow! No, it doesn't work at all. Um, don't touch hot stuff. You should know better not to get too close to high voltage. Now, the string still doesn't turn on. Now I'll use the taser. Ow! As I mentioned in my other video, a power supply like this one that can generate 70 amps doesn't necessarily hurt you at all if the voltage is set very low. Observe. No! Who the hell set this to 25 volts? Now let's reduce the voltage level and increase the frequency all the way to 60 volts. I shock my ass sitting on these live wires. Always clean up the lab, otherwise something will bite you in the ass. Yeah. <coughs> oh my god. Okay, finally. Let's power it up.
Here's the power supply at 4 volts and I'm going to connect this thin wire to it and you can see how the wire melts and burns under-